Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I'm here with the mid-April love readings for all the signs and today we are going to be looking at Gemini so check out your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus I just want to let you know I'm doing a special offer on readings you can get a one question reading for £15 or two questions for 20 all the links are down below Check out my deck shop and check out my Patreon. All the links are down below. If you're new here and you enjoy my content, please subscribe, like, share, comment. It really does help my channel grow. So we're going to have a look at Gemini. For the highest light and love, what do they need to know about their love life? For the highest light and love, what do they need to know about their love life? Wow, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, a breakthrough. So there's a breakthrough coming in. We've got Judgment, the Awakening, Emergence. So powerful energies for you this month. We've got Page of Cups. So a message of love. We've got the Empress energy. Wow. So we've got three major arcana out of four there. So for Gemini it does look like a very powerful month um because this reading is you know going to take us up to next the middle of May so why is the Wheel of Fortune there we've got the chariot energy the path exploration so there's movement forward here. We can see that with the wheel and the chariot, another major arcana. So your life is going to start moving forward. It could have been stuck, maybe. And there's judgment energy here, emergence, it says. Wow, and we've got the sun, another major arcana. Wow. It's a powerful, powerful month for you, Gemini. Very powerful changes coming in. And we've got page of cuts. We've got a message of love coming in there. And it says innocence. So it's like a new beginning. I feel like it's, it feels like a brand new person. Can you tell us about the Page of Hearts? We've got Queen of Angels. Queen of Swords. So air sign energy. Tor uh, not Taurus. Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini. says visionary. So this could be your energy. You, you know, you're an air sign. So this could be you right now. This is how you are. Um, looking ahead, manifesting, maybe setting out your intentions, being authentic, speaking your truth. And it looks like you're in that Empress energy as well. It says mother. Some of you may be your already mums or this is something that you want. You want to manifest this. You want to become a mum. So why is the Empress there? Where's the Empress there? Well, we've got King of Hearts, Healer. So it looks like there's a water sign. It doesn't have to be, but this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Hearts coming towards you. And it says Healer. So this could be very healing, this connection, okay? And the King of Cups is somebody that has love to offer. Okay, they're in touch with their feelings. They may not always show their feelings, but they are in touch with their feelings. So even if it's not a water sign, this is somebody that really does feel deeply about things. So why is the Wheel of Fortune there? Wow, we've got six of stars success. So your life is going to be successful. Things are, are changing, things are moving forward. And maybe you've been through an awakening and we've got the Four of Swords reversed. So I feel that you've been doing healing, you've been resting, recharging, and you're coming out of that now. That's come out for a lot of people. Um, in the winter months, it's a bit like hibernation in the Northern Hemisphere. A lot of us do um, hibernate, don't we? We'll go within, and you maybe have been doing healing work on yourself. And, you know, really resting and relaxing and recharging your energy, ready for this new beginning. So what can you tell me about the Page of Hearts? 
Wow, we got the teacher, the her the Hierophant energy, clarity. So yeah, you could have been on some sort of spiritual journey. Or and the other thing is that this love, this start in love could lead to a commitment because the Hierophant does talk about that commitment. So it could lead to a commitment, something you maybe it starts off as fun and light, you know, playful. It could lead to a commitment. And they see you as the Empress. And again, we've got the Hermit Reverse, the Retreat, Contemplation. Yeah, I feel that you've really done inner work here. You've been doing work on yourself, healing, going within, reflecting, maybe looking at patterns of behaviours because you're now in that Empress energy, which is that receptive energy, that abundant energy. So why is the Chariot there? Why is the Chariot there? We've got five of angels, five of swords withdrawal. So there could have been some defeated energy around you. Things didn't work out. Maybe that's why you had to go within, do that inner work. Yeah, and we've got the death card, the release metamorphosis. So yeah, you've been transforming. We can see that with the judgment energy, which says awakening re-emergence. So you're emerging out of a period of being alone, being single, and you're coming into a period of much happier times. There's love on the horizon. Yeah, we've got the magician. Wow. There's so many major arcana in this reading. And I feel you're setting your intentions. You're manifesting the life that you desire. You know, we've got that visionary. I feel that's you. You're really focusing on what it is you want. And we've got three of hearts. Joy. So there's joy, sun, happiness. You know, you could be going out socialising, maybe you weren't socialising. And with the three of hearts, this could be how you meet this person. Going out with friends, family, just enjoying your life, having a good time. Because you spent so long alone and withdrawn. So we've got, all that. We've got three of coins, dedication. I've, this is about collaboration this person wants to collaborate with you they want to build something they're dedicated to this you and them they want they want to be dedicated they're serious about this so what's the outcome here what's the outcome what's the outcome outcome here well wow, we've got justice another major arcana e equilibrium so coming into balance in your life justice divine justice coming in what else what else Yeah, we've got the devil, the shadow, fear. It came out reversed. So you're letting go of the shadow. You've done that shadow work. You've gone within. You're feeling, you know, maybe addiction issues, whatever it was for you. You're letting go of that. Um, maybe codependent behaviour, addictive behaviour. You're letting go of that. You've done that inner work. And that's when you're attracting this person. Yeah, we've got page of trees, dreamer. So, you know, this person's going to communicate with you. They could be a dreamer. They could be dreaming about a life with you, wanting to build that. And we've got the nine of cups, stability. So, you know, both of you could see each other as a wish fulfillment. And you're, you're going to have stability together. You're going to build stability, um, a stable connection. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, we've got Ace of Angels, Ace of Swords, Wisdom. So you're going to be very open and honest with each other. 
and you're going to really help each other grow, I feel, in this connection. So I'm just going to get some oracles. This is the Lemur and Starseed deck. What messages can you give Gemini about love? Wow, look at this. Beyond Cycles. Number 10 again. So that's the end and the beginning of a new begin a new cycle. Find and embrace yourself. New direction. Releasing old, old patterns. What did I just say about the, the devil reverse? So you're letting go of old patterns of behaviour. You know, fear-based energy. Negative thinking. Whatever that is for you. And we've got family of light. Signs, guidance, innate and ancient wisdom. And I feel that this is your guides, your angels coming through. They have, they've been sending you signs and guidance and they want you to tap into your own ancient wisdom within you. And I feel also it's saying that you could create a family with this person because we saw that they see you as a mother. Wow. And now we've got Dolphin Baby. Lemurian origin, flow, timeless, adaptable, free, take your time. So take your time, go with the flow. I think that came out earlier about flow, or maybe that was another uh, reading. And the fact that we've got Dolphin Baby, I feel that there's a potential for you to have a child with this person, okay? And, you know, you could resonate with this energy, but you need to just go with the flow, be adaptable, and take your time getting to know this person, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings.